Get a mark every time my soulmate gets hurt or every time he walks. Every time he gets hurt. If I get a mark every time he walks, my face will be filled with marks. Mom, I'm going to school. Have you got your choice so it's easier for you to find your soulmate? I chose to get a mark every time my soulmate gets hurt. But your face is clean with no scribbles at all. It means your soulmate hasn't gotten hurt. Yes, thank goodness he's okay. I'm going to go now. It's only morning and Amara's already got one mark. Her soulmate must be her. Why are you all looking at me like that? You haven't realized yet? Your face has one <gasps> mark. That means my soulmate got injured this morning. Don't worry, it's probably one small wound. Yeah. Babe, we have to break up. Why? We've been dating for a long time. You're not my soulmate. You've got two marks and I'm not her. Two marks? Yes, so we have to break up. Why is my soulmate getting hurt all the time? I can't let anything bad happen to him. Relax, nothing's gonna happen. Why are you so sure? Because as long as the marks are still there, it means he's still alive. But if they're not there, then that means he's dead. I have to stop thinking about my soulmate. Amara, can you work with Emma? Really? Yes, we're friends, so it's gonna make studying more fun. I have to find a guy with two wounds. Amara, do you want to study at yours tonight? At mine? No, why don't we study at yours? My house is noisy. Okay, fine. My soulmate must be hurt again. Guys, have you seen a guy with three wounds? Not really, Amara. I'm going to meet Emma soon for the group project, so I have to stop thinking about this. Oh, hi, Amara. Come on in. Your house is so nice. Thank you. Who's that? That's my brother, but you can't talk to him because he's weird. But you never told me you had a brother. You asked too many questions. Come on, let's go. I'm going to get you something to drink. Okay. Why is she not letting me talk to her brother? He's kind of handsome. Hi, I'm Amara. Hi, I'm Jake. Why does your arm have three wounds on it? It's because of Emma. You have to be careful with her. Why is he saying that? I'm going home, okay? Why so fast? We haven't even worked on the project. Because I'm not feeling well. We'll work on it tomorrow. Oh my gosh, why are there so many marks on my face? Don't tell me my soulmate is... Hello? Don't forget to come to my brother's funeral today. Remove my scarf or get 10 kilograms of gold? I've never removed my scarf before, so I'm going to remove it. No, that scarf protects you from bad things. Don't remove it. Okay, I'll choose the gold. Mom, I'm going out with my friends. Okay, remember, whatever you do, do not remove that scarf. Yes, Mom, I know. It's really hot today. Hey, have some of my juice. I haven't tasted juice since I was a child. You really don't know what sweet tastes like? How about salt or sour? I don't know. Yeah, you're weird. We can't be friends anymore. Come on, let's go, guys. Wait! Amara, are you not swimming? I can't swim, sir. Why is that? Because my scarf will get wet and I can't dry it because my mom told me I can't remove it. Oh, then I'm going to have to fail you for this class. Fail me? Yes. Today, there'll be a cooking lesson. Who here can cook? Me, I know how to cook. Okay then, please register your name. I'm gonna try a little bit of your meal. How is it, sir? Why does it taste so salty? But I've never tasted salt before. What is it? It's better if you don't take cooking class anymore. Look, it's the girl who never tasted food before. And what's even worse is that she's been wearing that scarf since I'm not weird. I also don't know why my mom always tells me to wear the scarf. Amara, did you know there's other girls who can't taste food either? I think it's because of the scarf. Why don't you remove it? But my mom says if I remove it, bad things will happen. You still believe that? You don't know what will happen. Just remove it. Okay, I'll try it. I've removed it. Just be careful if something bad happens to me. Just calm down. Now, we have to see if the reason why you can't taste food is because of that scarf. Hey, I have a drink for you to try. I wonder what it tastes like. I wonder what this tastes like. Wait, I can finally taste. This means the reason why I can't taste is because of the scarf. But why did your mom give you that scarf? I don't know. Has she ever given you anything to eat? She always tells me to eat bread, but I don't know what bread it is. I think your mom doesn't want you to know the real taste of bread. You have to find out why. You're right. I have to investigate. 
Mom, I'm home. Already? You didn't remove your scarf, did you? No, Mom. As always, you have to eat this bread. Yes, I'll eat it later. Why don't you eat it now? I'm full. I'll just eat it later in my room. Okay. I have to know what bread really tastes like. Why is this so bitter? I'm sure bread isn't supposed to taste like this. I have to find out what exactly this is. Mom, I'm going out for a bit. Where are you going? To work on a group project with my friends. But have you already ate the bread? Yes, Mom. Okay, you can go. Jess, where are you? Amara. <sighs> Finally, I found you. Is that the bread you've been eating? This is the bread. My mom always gives it to me, but it tastes bitter. I don't really think it's bread. Give me the bread. Let me find someone who can check it. <sighs> Thank you so much for helping me. Calm down. Don't worry. I got this. That's strange. Amara's not wearing the scarf anymore. And she said she can taste food. How come? I couldn't taste because of that scarf. Because my mom always told me to wear it. I'm really sorry I bullied you in the past. It's okay. Amara, I found someone who can check the bread. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Excuse me, can we ask you about the spread? Give me the bread. Let me check. Results are out. So, what is it? How many times have you eaten this? I've been eating it ever since I was a kid. Is there something wrong with the spread? Oh my gosh, this isn't bread. This is... Switch bodies with sister or soulmate. My sister really takes showers anymore, so I'm going to pick soulmate. Whoa, this is my soulmate's body? She's so beautiful. Amara, go to the principal's office now. Her name is Amara. Look, the nerd is here. Are you talking about me? Yeah, you have a problem? Tell us now. Why are they like this? Hey, do my homework. Why are you giving it to me? Did you forget our agreement? Her huh? agreement? If you don't want to do my homework, I'm going to tell my dad to remove you from the school. I'm not going to do it. So all this time my soulmate's been treated like this? Why don't you want to do my homework? Because I just don't. You'll regret that. Wow, Amara's brave now. Are you the one who tore Sarah's uniform? What? No. Yeah, she did, miss. She tore my uniform. Stop lying. You're only angry because I didn't do your homework. Amara, I believe Sarah. You ripped her uniform. No, I didn't. Why are you speaking to me like that? I'm your teacher. Why are you treating your students so badly? You're believing her over me. You're brave. Now, I'm going to teach you a lesson. What are you going to do? Amara, there's a handsome guy looking for you. He's at the canteen. <laughs> Mommy, I have hearts all over my face. Oh, you got your hearts, but you only have three. Those hearts represent the amount of times you're allowed to be heartbroken. Every time someone breaks your heart, you lose one of your hearts. So what happens if I have no hearts left? You die. <gasps> hey, besties. <clears throat> Pizza face. <laughs> Jake, stop it. You can't sit with us. Everyone's looking at you because of all your pimples on your face. It's embarrassing. It's just a little breakout. I've been really stressed recently. You can't sit with us. Is my acne really that bad? A heart's missing. That means they broke my heart. Hey, babe. Bro, what's all over your face? Yeah, babe, what happened? It's just pimples. It will go away. <laughs> That's your girl, bro? She's not my girl. I'm not. I only have one heart left. I can't get heartbroken again. I know what to do. I only have one heart left. I can't get heartbroken again. I know what to do. Whoa, Brianna looks hot. Hey, girl, come sit with us. Yesterday, when you said I couldn't sit with you guys, you made me lose a heart. I can't trust you guys won't break my heart again. You never even deserved it in the first place. <laughs> babe, you look so good today. I'm not your babe. Yesterday, you didn't want to be with me because I had pimples. You made me lose a heart. I only have one left because of you. I can't trust you won't break my heart again. I'm sorry. Class, we have a new student today. Everyone meet John. You can sit wherever you like, John. Hey, can I sit here? Sure, do whatever you want. Lucky me, I get to sit next to the prettiest girl in the class. Look, I'm not interested. I can't risk getting involved with another person again. Hey, wait, why did you say you can't risk getting involved with another person? I only have one heart left. If I get heartbroken again, I'll die. I only have one heart left, too. How about we take the risk together? I only have one heart left. If I get heartbroken again, I'll die. I only have one heart left, too. How about we take the risk together? Okay, let's try it then. But just know, 
If you break my heart, you'll be considered a murderer. <laughs> Good morning, babe. Hey, can I ask what happened to your other hearts? How'd they get broken? My best friends and boyfriend broke my heart because they didn't like the way I looked. You may not notice, but I have really bad acne under all this makeup. That's so superficial. I would never do that to you. Wow, you're so strong and muscular. <laughs> Thanks. I want to kiss you. Brittany, I... Why would you- John? It's not what it looks like. Brianna, she came on to me. I saw you. You kissed her. You don't have any hearts left. Brianna! Good, you're awake. How am I alive? Where's John? Who do you think gave you the heart? He gave you his last one. Mommy, my life is worth a cupcake. No, honey, your life is worth one pound. But that's fine. You're still young. You can work yourself up. So, class, each person in this world has a price. Sir, what do I need to do to change my life to be priceless? That doesn't happen. Everything has a price. I see you on your phone. Hope you did your homework. No, I didn't do it. I can't believe this. At the age of 16, your life is still worth five pounds. Mom, I already said, I don't want to play this game. My life is already priceless. Look at the world you live in. Here, every life has its price. Plus, this is Amara. She's the new student that's going to be studying with you. But if her life is worth nothing, she shouldn't be studying with us. Don't be mean. Help her around the school so her life will be worth more. Listen, we don't know why you got transferred with us, but we're not going to help you. I didn't ask for your help. Tomorrow's our test and I hope you get a bad grade and get kicked out of here. Don't listen to them. I think you'll get good grades. Here's your test. Take the right answers and give it back. Good luck. I hope your life will be worth a few more pounds. We don't know why you got transferred with us, but we're not going to help you. I didn't ask for your help. Tomorrow's our test and I hope you get a bad grade and get kicked out of here. Don't listen to them. I think you'll get good grades. Here's your test. Take the right answers and give it back. Good luck. I hope your life will be worth a few more pounds. You'll have exactly two hours to complete the test. Honey, how was your test? The results are loading. I hope you got a good grade. Thanks, mom. The results are ready. I'm so nervous. Stay calm. Don't worry. Oh my god, I got 100,000 pounds. I got 500,000. I got my results, but I got zero. Have you gotten yours, Amara? Knowing people's age or knowing people's name, usually it's easier to know people's name and people lie about their age all the time. So I choose age. Morning, mom. Happy birthday. Whoa, you remember my birthday? I'm surprised. How old are you going to be, mom? You forgot. What? No, you're going to be 40 years old. Thank you for remembering. Here, have some pocket money. Thanks, mom. Hey, Em, how are you? I'm okay, just a bit stressed. Wait, you're 19 years old? How is that even possible? We're all 17 in class. Did you forget that I had to retake the same class twice because of my grades? Oh yeah, true. I totally forgot. Sorry if I hurt your feelings. Good morning, children. Please welcome our new student. Whoa, it's a girl. I really want her to join our group, don't you? But wait a minute, if she's not 17, I don't want her in our group. You two, just calm down. I can tell if she's 17 or not. Really? Hello, everyone. My name is Tasha. Hey, do you want to join our group? Are you sure you want to ask her that? Guys, but we still don't know if she's older than us or if she's younger than us. Then hurry up and check. Um, why isn't her age showing up? Sorry, guys, but I can't see her age. Oh, great. But that's so strange. No, what's strange is how all the boys are crushing on her. I mean, she's really pretty, but I still don't understand how I can't see her age. Oh, yes. I remember reading in a book that if you're struggling to see someone's true age, you just have to knock them out. Knock them out? Do you want me to get kicked out of school? But if I don't hit her, I'll never know her real age. All right, fine. I'll slap Tasha. Good. Now, where is she? We need to find her. I think she might be surrounded by all the guys as usual. Let's look for her in the hall. Hey, what are you two doing here? Yes, what are you doing here? Don't get close to Tasha. Guys, relax. I'm her classmate. I just wanted to ask her about the task we got in class. Oh, okay. Just a moment. I heard you were looking for me. Finally. Hurry up because we don't have much time. Amara, do it now. Amara, do it now. Come on, come on. Hey, how dare you slap Tasha like that? Yes, how dare you? We're going to make you regret this. Come with us. Wait. 
You can't slap Kasha again. Do you understand? Why do you care about her so much? Because she's pretty. So you only like her because she's pretty? You guys are crazy. So what happened? I tried slapping Tasha, but nothing happened. We need to come up with a different plan. Uh, where are you going? Nowhere, I was just... Since you have nothing to do, help me clean my desk. I think the teacher knows my plan. He's trying to distract me to not find out Tasha's age. If you don't do it, I'll reduce your no, grades. No, sir, please. If you reduce my grades, I won't be able to complete the next semester. That's right, so start cleaning now. Fine. Amara, how come you're cleaning the teacher's he desk? He said he'd reduce my grades if I didn't. Oh, anyway, I found out another way to know Tasha's age. How? You have to make her eat an apple, apparently. It helps to see how old she really is. All right, thank you so much for letting me know. Mom, I'm home. Honey, there's a friend of yours waiting in the living room. Hurry up, she's been waiting for a long time. Wait, are you sure it's a friend of mine? I mean, no, I've never seen her before, but she's very funny and cute. Funny and cute? Yeah, she's really pretty too. We had nothing in the fridge, so I gave her an apple to eat. All right, let me go see who it is. Mmm, this is really delicious. Where did you get this apple, Tasha? Did you just eat the apple? Yeah, why? Yes, it's starting to appear. I wonder what number it will stop at. Yes, it's starting to appear. I wonder what age it will stop at. I'm going to find out how old you are really soon. I'm 17 years old, just like you. Oh yeah? But I don't believe you. Don't worry, your age will soon appear. It stopped at 17. Yes, that's my age, see? Hello everyone, quickly open the door, Amara. Why don't we just break in? Good idea. Three, two, one. Why would you just break my door like that? Hello bodyguards, don't worry about me, I'm doing okay. Don't hurt our Tasha. Why did you come all the way here for? We want to pick up Tasha because we thought she was in trouble. Yeah, we were so scared and ran here immediately. You guys just calm down. I'm doing fine. In fact, I'm really happy because a couple of minutes ago, I had the most delicious apple of my life. I'm pretty sure she's not actually 17 years old. This is not her real age. How do you feel? Have you managed to see her age yet? I did. It says she's 17, but I can't believe it. I think there might be an error in the system. Someone's calling me with an unknown number. Who could it be? Just pick up. Hello, Amara. Let's have dinner tonight. Who is this? Oh my gosh, you don't recognize my voice? The age is not appearing. You must be Tasha, right? Yes, I'll send you the full address later, okay? Don't forget to come. Okay. I wonder what she's up to. Is this her house? Whoa, it's really big. No wonder she's spoiled. Hey, Amara, come in. What room is that? Why is the shape strange? Oh, that's where I uh, have my clothes. You have a whole room for clothes? Let me see. No, we're still um, renovating it. Okay. Let's go get food. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah, sure. But um, before we eat, I just need to quickly go to the toilet. Okay, now that she's gone, I'm going to quickly explore this room. Three, two, one. Tasha? Oh, it's Tasha's friend. Please feel free to come in. I'm Tasha's Hello, mom. nice to meet you. Why do you look so young? Oh, stop it. You're so kind. You're 20 years old? How? That's impossible. Isn't Tasha 17? Actually, Tasha is. How? This is impossible. Isn't Tasha 17? Actually, Tasha is. Mom, what are you talking about? Nothing. I was just saying hi to your friend. What are you doing uh, here, Amara? I was just lost. I couldn't find the toilet. You should have told me. I would have helped you. I have to change the subject. Yeah, true. Could you please show me where it is? Yeah, come with me. <sighs> Finally, thank you for showing me where your toilet was. That's fine. Here, have some snacks. What? Only this? I thought we were going to eat an expensive meal because, you know, you're rich. Just be thankful I gave you something. I can't believe I still haven't found out how old she is. How difficult could it be? What's wrong? Huh? Where did you get that book from, Mom? It was delivered by the postman. How come it doesn't have a sender's name? This book is mine. Anyways, thanks for picking it up. Where's Tasha today? Class, Tasha didn't come to school today because she's sick. But yesterday she was feeling fine, sir. She showed me a letter from the doctor, so I believe her. I have to go to her house again after school. Hello, excuse me. I'm here to visit Tasha. Uh, Amara? Yes, can I come in? Um, I don't know. I mean, Tasha's really sick. I don't think she wants to see anyone. Well, I brought her soup. Can I at least come in and give it to her? Yeah, sure. Tasha? Tasha, where are you? Oh, 
Oh, there you are. Amara, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Mom, did you let her in? Yes, she said she brought you soup. Wait, this whole time it turns out... It turns out you're 90 years old? Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm never going to school again. Who even are you? Well, are you going to tell her the truth or should I? Mom, please. Basically, our family made this potion to make us look younger. But since you slapped her yesterday, the potion isn't working on her anymore. And now she can never be young again. 